How is the weather in Denver? Right now it's 53.6 degrees with scattered clouds. Hi, in this video we'll look at how to extend the functionality of Dialogflow using custom webhooks. Dialogflow is a product from Google, is part of their Google Cloud ecosystem, which provides a pla which provides a platform to develop and deploy chatbots or voice assistant integrations using natural language processing and machine learning. So the webhooks allow the Dialogflow to communicate with any REST endpoint, you know, and when a Dialogflow makes this call to that endpoint, it also provides this rich context of information of what the user intention is and what the, uh, the, the, the parameters within that intention. And we can use those parameters to reply back with a text response or a speech response. And, uh, and that helps the dialogue flow you know, to integrate with any other products within your company that can provide a REST endpoint. So we are going to use a simple example to demonstrate how this actually works. So our goal here is to develop a simple weather chatbot. In this case, a user asks the chatbot, you know, what's the weather in, in a city? And the dialog flow then looks at this question and parses that and identifies what the city is. And the dialog flow provides this information to us and, and through a webhook. And we, we are going to query the open weather, we are going to query the weather, you know, the open weather API using the location and retrieve the weather information and provide that information to Dialogflow using the Dialogflow webhook system. And then the Dialogflow provides this information back to the user. In this case, the example is the Open Weather API, but it could be any REST endpoint that you want to customize the Dialogflow. So let's look at a little bit more, a little bit more close on how this actually works. So within the Dialogflow, we are going to configure an intent um, to say that the user is going to ask about weather. And the intent has a fulfillment and that is going to utilize a webhook. The webhook then posts a webhook request to our Node.js service that runs on Heroku. In, in that post request, we are going to uh, get the parameters of what the city or the location in this scenario is. And we are going to use that location and post that to Open Weather API and retrieve the weather information and provide it back to the fulfillment webhook request as a response. And then the dialog flow uses this response and provides this back to the user. So the fulfillment process here, which is a webhook request and webhook response, we need to follow the dialog flow standard API to in order to integrate, in order to make this work. So without any getting delay, let's make sure, first thing we are going to do is, we are going to set up the dialog flow uh, environment. And the next thing we look at is the Node.js service that we wrote in order to do this integration. And then the, and the next thing we'll do is we'll deploy this Node.js service to Heroku and configure the webhook and make and, and verify that our app actually works. So let's go into Dialogflow. And the first thing we are going to do is create an agent. So in this case, the agent is weather. Um, we can just name anything we want. And one thing to note is that we are going to use the Dialogflow version 2 API. So make sure you make a note of these v2 format request and v2 format response because we need to follow the standard request and standard response format in order for the dialog flow to understand the, 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 the response that we are going to provide. So let's go ahead and click create. So it's just going to create a, a, an empty agent with a default intent and a fallback intent. So once the agent is created, we are going to create a new intent that we are that we will use for our fulfillment process so the intent so the intent has been created so we have the default fallback and the default welcome intent so let's go ahead and create a new intent so the intent name here is get weather okay and then the uh, the next thing that we are going to look at is add training phrases training phrases are this is, this is how the the dialog flow understands what the user is trying to ask it may not be the exact question but we are we have to come up with the best um, training with we, 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 we need to come up with phrases that our chatbot understand what the user is actually trying to ask so we'll make this very simple by asking how is the weather in washington 
so as soon as you make this uh, make, make make create a phrase the dialog flow automatically understand that the washington in this case is a location and it automatically parameterizes as a city which is great it's going to you know help us save a lot of time in order to understand and parse this qu this question and know what the uh, what the location in this context is so the dialog flow is doing all that for us the next thing we'll do is we'll go ahead and click the fil fulfillment and we'll say enable fulfillment we are not going to configure the fulfillment but once we look at our service we'll we'll come back to this and we'll actually configure the fulfillment let's go ahead and click save so while that while the agent is being saved and trained uh, with whatever information we provided let's go ahead and look at how our weather api or the um, you know the fulfillment process actually works before that let's take a look at this the webhook request and response it's worth making a note that this is the standard format webhook request that you your service will consume so we are interested in this query result if you look at this query result object um, it contains a uh the parameters um you know attribute and with that in that it's a pa it's an nested object and um, this parameter object contains the parameters of the request and let's look at the webhook response this is a response that we are going to provide to the dialog flow based on based on we understanding what the location is and what the weather is so our interest is the fulfillment message this is the message that the user will see if you click on the message it has a, a text property and it also it also has the text um, object that we need to pass which is a string in our case this is a text response that we are going to provide okay so let's look at the, our node.js service in order to make this work so the first thing is the webhook so let's first look at the weather api and how that actually works so this is a simple you know request um, to the weather API using the uh, you know they're using the open weather um, map.org so let's take a look at how this actually works so what you need to do is you know go to open weather map.org and sign up for um, a, a key and once you have the key you can create a simple um, get request to get the weather information so as you can see here this is the URL and the city is the Washington that I'm passing and this is the key so once you um, you know make this request you see that I get a rich context of the weather information for this city so far in, in, in our scenario we are going to look at the description and the temperature so the, we are going to provide this information to the user so let's look at um, and 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 let's look at see what we are actually doing. So we are just saying that right now it's this is the temperature and uh, and this is the description. This is so that's how the the weather the weather information is being retrieved. So in the end, it retrieves this com this test this 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 particular message to the um, um, to the to the request. So the API, the webhook, uh, you know, where we are consuming the, um, you know, uh, dialog flows request. So in this case, we are going to extract the request body um, and query result dot parameters and geocity. The geocity is what we just defined as a parameter. So we are going to extract the city and pass to pass to the pass this to get weather and get a response back. And um, and uh, uh, once we get the response from the get weather, we are going to send an object containing um, how the the response should be formatted, and then we are going to send that response back to the dialog flow. Okay, so let's go ahead and quickly deploy this to the um, uh, Heroku. So I have here um, already configured with the Heroku, and let's go ahead and deploy this to Heroku. So our service, our uh, our weather API that consumes the dialog flow and retrieves the weather information has been deployed. So this is the URL. So in this case, I'm just going, I'm just going to go to this URL and show you a simple request that I had built for us to debug. So basically, the weather API works by 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 inputting the the city name in this case Washington. And by clicking submit, we, we retrieve the information. This is the message that I was just showing you how we are going to send this back to the dialog flow. So with that done, let's go ahead and make sure that the Heroku app is properly deployed by looking at the logs. So, you know, based on the test uh, that we did, it looks like everything is working. So let's go back to the dialog flow. And go to the fulfillment 
click enable the webhook and post the URL and make sure we, we specify the route webhook and then click save. So let's go back to the agent and quickly, you know, um, uh, by, by, by using our current agent and type how's the weather in Denver. As you see here, we get a response saying that right now it's 47.6 degrees with scattered clouds. So we successfully configured the dialog for with a custom webhook response. So now you have an understanding of how to actually develop um, custom webhooks for dialog flow.